Hey guys, Christina Smith here. We get a lot of questions about personal inhalers and how to take them apart, put the oil in, and then put them back together. So I thought I'd make a video and show you guys how to do it. First, let's go over the parts of the inhaler. We have the wick, which is just a piece of cotton. I'm gonna place it in my little dish. We have the cap that goes on the tube, screws on. And finally, once our wick is full and we stick it inside the tube, there's the end cap. So I chose A plus attention to make an inhaler today. I like to put my wick straight up in my little dish. If you don't have a little dish, you can actually stand it in the lid, just like this. And you drop anywhere from 10 to 15 drops onto your wick. And this is good for three or four weeks. And then you'll wanna refresh So that was 10 drops, and you can see as it sits, it'll start to soak up the oil and it'll travel down the wick. You insert it into the bottom of the tube and then snap on the end. And that's all. You wanna make sure that you label your inhaler so that you remember which one is which. So we'll give it a label and put it on. Now when it's time to take your inhaler apart and you want to change it, everybody has a paper clip at home. You can just bend open your paper clip. There's holes in the top of the lid. You can put your paper clip down in there and press. And if you're good, <laughs> The bottom will just pop right off and you can refresh your wick. You can refresh your wick two or three times depending on your oil before you should replace it because remember oils oxidize and after a period of time you just don't want to inhale them anymore. So after two or three refreshments you can discard the wick and get a new one. We sell replacement wicks uh, under the diffuser category on planttherapy.com. I hope that helps everyone understand how an inhaler works and we'll See you guys next time.